Alice generates a pair of keys, public and private, and shares her public key with Bob. She then calculates the hash of the plain text message using a hashing algorithm. She then combines the plain text message with the hash and digitally signs it with her private key. She sends the signed message to Bob. Bob unsigns the message with Alice's public key and gets the message and the hash which was computed by Alice, this assures the authenticity of Alice. Because a message signed by Alice's private key can only be unsigned by Alice's public key and only Alice posses her private key. Finally Bob takes the plain text message and calculated the hash and compares with the hash sent by Alice. If the the two hashes match then the integrity of the message is preserved. Hello everyone, welcome to the INS practical series. In this session, we will be doing the topic that is the digital signatures. We have already watched the animation of how digital signatures work uh, for uh, checking the authenticity as well as the integrity. Now we will do a Python code. So this is the Python code. Okay. Uh, I will explain this code afterwards, but what we will be using is we will do this practical uh, on Google Colab. Because many times in uh, we when we directly use the Python, uh, we have some problems of installing some libraries. So it is better if we can, uh, of course, we can run the code directly on Python. But I'll be using Google Colab. So let us see how we'll do that. We need to install some library before starting with this because there are some uh, we have to import this RSA. So for that purpose, we need the uh, some of the libraries to to be installed. So let us see. We'll start with that. So this is I have opened the Google Colab. So we'll just click on open collab here. Okay. When we click on this open collab, we get this particular screen. Okay. So we'll just click on this code. You can see code. Okay. And then here we can see we get some uh, here. Okay. First of all, we need to install the library. Okay. So we have to type this command. That exclamation sign then pip install pi crypto dome so we need to install this library so this is the command for installing the library okay so i'll just run this so after running this this uh, library will get installed so first we need to install this particular library because we are importing some uh, that rsa and many other things so we need to install this library as you can see requirement already satisfied so because i already installed this so it is already installed now let us see how we run the program so now we'll uh, first copy the program so i've just copied the code so i'll just click here code okay and i'll insert i'll just paste it here okay so this is our code i'll explain this code so uh, first we'll run this now in this case uh, we are using two documents like we, we we can assume this is our document some some text is written here so you can see this is the original document content we are showing this original document and then we have another this is a modified document content so we are using two documents one is the original other is the modified document so when we want to check the originality there's the integrity of the message okay so here what we see is in this case as you can see we are using the modified hash so we are using this two documents one is the original document the other is the modified document we are calculating the hashes of both the documents so uh, here while verifying here we are verifying the modified hash so we assume that when the uh, when the message was sent by the sender it was modified so the receiver got the modified hash now when we run what we'll see let us see we'll just run here clicking the button here run button so because as you can see this is the output the signature is invalid the signature is invalid because 
we are uh, I, I let we can assume that this the, the message received by the receiver was modified now let us uh, see the original suppose if the uh, receiver that receiver gets the original hash okay the original message if the receiver gets the original hash so yes but we not to just here instead of modify we we'll just write the original one okay now when we now execute the code here okay. so we must get the signature is valid because as you can see signature is valid because the original hash is calculated so this is the original hash so this is how this particular code works The from crypto.public key import RSA line imports the RSA key generation and management functionalities. The from crypto signature import PKCS 1 underscore 15 line imports the PKCS number 1 version 1.5 digital signature scheme. The from crypto hash import SHA 256 line imports the SHA 256 hash function from the crypto library. These lines generate an RSA key pair with a key length of 2048 bits. Private underscore key holds the private key in PEM format. Public underscore key holds the public key in PEM format. Original underscore document holds the original content of the document. Modified underscore document holds the modified content of the document. These lines calculate the SHA-256 hash of both the original and modified document content. Original underscore hash holds the hash of the original content. Modified underscore hash holds the hash of the modified content. This line uses the original hash and the private key to create a digital signature using the PKCS number 1 version 1.5 signature scheme. This part attempts to verify the signature using the public key and the modified hash. If the verification is successful, it prints signature is valid. If the verification fails due to a mismatch between the hash and the signature, it catches the exception and prints signature, signature is invalid.